wanted to give you guys a look at the brand new third edition of chemistry for the grammar stage. As you can see, again, we've done the lighter teacher's guide so that when you look at them on the shelf, you'll be able to immediately tell which is the teacher's guide and which is the student workbook. Let's dig into the teacher's guide first. We'll start off and the teacher's guide will start off and tell you uh, what the program contains in a nutshell. So what you'll be doing each week, uh, what you need, you need either the student workbook or the lab booking templates, and then you need the two spines that go with it, the Osborne Science Encyclopedia and the DK Elements, demonstration supplies, there's a list later on in here, and a uh, the resource page and then how the program works itself. So after that, you'll find the table of contents and all three of our, edition, our third edition programs have this peek inside. So it's gonna explain uh, what the different things are in the teacher's guide at a glance. So you'll be able to see that pretty easily. And then you'll also be able to see what's in the student workbook and then the extra materials as well. And then we'll go into explaining everything in depth. So you see all the topics that are covered and then all the different pieces of the program in depth. I really recommend you read this so you understand how the program works and then the supplies needed each week. So after that, we'll get into the heart of the program, which is the units. Each one will start off with the introduction uh, to the unit, the overview, it'll say what books you're going to need, what optional ones they have, what you're going to study, any memory work, and then you'll have the supplies needed and your vocabulary for the unit. As you flip over into the lessons, we're going to first have our two-day and our five-day week schedule. These are just broken down to help give you an idea of how you could do the program. And then we'll have everything broken into the three keys. So you'll have the read, do, and write. And first you'll start off with the read. Uh, you'll have discussion questions for all the reading assignments. You'll have your optional memory work. You'll have those additional encyclopedias. These are not required, but they're optional. And then optional library books as well. And then you'll have the do section with our demonstrations. One of the best parts about our third edition is that these instructions are in the teacher's guide rather than having to get a separate book. So you're going to see the materials you need. You're going to see detailed instructions, including a scripted introduction. Uh, you'll have detailed steps for it to guide your student through. And then you'll have an explanation. In this particular one, it's just a model. So you're not going to have a scripted introduction. It's just a question or just scripted explanation. So then you'll have options to take it further and you'll have a unit project. Each unit will have a project and then each week will have optional additional projects you can do with your students. So you have lots of hands-on options to present the face of science to your students. After that, you're going to have the writing section. So you have the student workbook information, the lap booking templates, those are optional, you could choose one or the other. And then you'll also have uh, coloring pages and vocabulary to do with your students. And then you'll have an optional review sheet each week. If we feel there isn't enough information covered in the reading assignments, we will put an article in here that you can read to your students. But as you can see, uh, the rest of the weeks pretty much continue the same way. You've got your schedule, you've got the read, the do, and the right information for your students. Okay, so the rest will pretty much follow the same way. At the back of the guide, you will find the appendix which has any templates you'll need for projects. It will also have uh, the templates that you can use. You can print out and use these if you want to. With your students, you'll have the glossary. So all the terms are in one place if you want to have your students look it up or if you want to look them up. And then you'll have an additional library book list. So all of this, uh, all the additional suggested library books are at the back of the guide so you can tear it out and take it to your library with you. So that's a look at the teacher's guide. Let's look at the student workbook. The student workbook has also been revised and in it you're going to find a quick letter of welcome to the students which will kind of uh, be in that same font for emerging readers for them to read if you want them to read the introduction themselves. It'll explain what they're going to be doing and then you'll have that table of contents so you can see what you're doing and then you will have an explanation, a peek inside the student workbook to see what each page, what they're gonna be expected to do with those pages. 
And then we get into the unit materials. At the beginning of each unit will be a page for the unit project, or two pages for the unit project. And then we'll go into the heart of what they'll be doing with the e unit. First, you'll have your notebooking sheet, and this will have the different topics they're going to cover. It may have a single topic at the top, but it will give them the space to write down what they've learned each week. And then we will have the demonstration sheets, and this will give them an opportunity to record what they've done for the demonstration. So each week you'll have that notebooking sheet and the demonstration sheet and the notebooking sheet and the demonstration sheet. And it will keep going like this through the end of the unit. And then you'll have that unit project sheet and then you'll have the notebooking sheet and the demonstration sheet. Or in the back of the student workbook, we'll have the glossary. And this is a picture ABC glossary. So you have pictures with each term and it goes alphabetically. So the students can fill that in as they go. Then, They'll have the memory work at the back. Okay, so you can print these out uh, or copy them and use them as posters or you can just leave them in the back of the guide for the students. Then we'll have any uh, templates that they'll need. These have been fixed in the permanent edition. Uh, and then we will have the review sheets. So these review sheets are just simple questions to have them answer as they at the end of the week, you can use those as review or you can use them as a quiz. It's up to you. But the rest of the student workbook will go through like that. So that's a look at the student workbook and the teacher's guide. So that's what the third edition of chemistry for the grammar stage looks like. You can see a full sample at elementalscience.com. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let us know.